Are Pursue's best-selling leggings really the best? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. What's super unique about today's video is we're gonna be testing Pursue's best-selling leggings. So according to their website, they're best sellers. If you go to Pursue's website and hit women's leggings, you will see that there's only three collections with the best-selling tag next to them. So you know what that means. I gotta get my hands on those leggings and now I gotta test them out for y'all. So the three leggings I have here are different colors than the best sellers on the website, but pretty much the same thing. We're just reviewing the collection as a whole. And those collections are the Adapt Seamless, the Sustainable Seamless, and the Impulse Seamless. You guys saw me rocking and rolling with this on an Instagram reel, and y'all had a lot to say about this one. And guess what, so do I. So we're gonna review these leggings one by one and see if they actually live up to the hype. And I know I'll probably get some questions like, Ash, but what the frig are you wearing right now? Good question. It's Pursue. <laughs> you guessed it. It's Pursue. It's their lounge line. Pretty dang comfortable. A little bit low here. There's no adjustments, so just keep that in mind. This is not categorized as one of their best sellers, but I will say that it's pretty dang comfortable. I'm wearing a size small. I will have this linked down below in case you guys want to take a closer look, as well as these leggings. All right, guys, let's hop into it, but definitely hit that subscribe button if you are new here on this channel. We make active wear review videos every single week. We got some Buff Bunny, new Gymshark coming your way, some Able, and I know, because I've gotten many, many requests for this, that you guys are wanting the review of those viral Amazon leggings, the Alpha Link dupes. I think they're called Arola or something like that. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail, but I'll be reviewing those next for you. I'm gonna start some controversy right here. What are we thinking of this design? Booty contour? What is it? <laughs> Thoughts? Comment down below right now, please. First of all, they're very comfortable leggings. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Super true to size, got on real nicely, real good stretch. Good length too, actually. Ooh, okay. I think from the front, they are so sickly badass. <laughs> Notice I use sickly and badass in one sentence. That's how you know I'm for real. I think that the lines, the design right here is just so different. Compression is nice, I mean like, decent tummy control. I don't know if I love the back here though. Now, I don't know if it's really working to make the glutes look how I want it to look or not. I know there's gotta be a gal out there that cares more just about fit and functionality over how it makes the booty look, but I'm not that girl. <laughs> I still feel like the glutes could look really flattering in this style of legging. However, I do feel like this kind of blocky line contour that just kind of swoops right up to your lower back. I feel like it has a lot of potential of shrinking the glutes a little bit, or at least just distracts, if anything. I feel like maybe my ass is cut in half. <laughs> I would have liked to see this exact design just kind of come right below the glutes, maybe. I think this is the type of design I just have to simply get used to, because I'm not used to seeing this. I can see why this is one of their best sellers. I feel like this is the most standout piece you're gonna find. Except for that Pursue Hope though. Okay, that's that's gotta be my number one. I'm gonna let you know that right off the bat. If you saw my review on that, you would know. Like, I feel like that set was just made for me. I, I love it. Like I said, even though this design is super distracting, if you look up close, it's got a little bit of sheerness back there. I would still say these are definitely gym friendly. You got a lot of breathability. It's got a lot of nice stretch. Decent compression, so I feel like moving in this, you have a nice support. In terms of fit and material, like this is exactly what I typically wear when working out. It's not buttery soft, you got a little bit of that texture throughout. So it's got more of a rugged feel. The one thing I noticed, like I straight up thought that this was dry skin on the band, which typically happens, I'm not gonna lie, my skin's very dry. When I pull up leggings, my tan just wants to shed right off. So I thought, looking down, that this was just dry skin. But it's actually speckle on the band. If you look up close, real close, you can see a little bit of that white speckle going on. So this was a thought out legging to say the least. They didn't leave out anything. Okay, let's move on to the sustainable seamless collection, shall we? So Bay thinks I look like a topographical map. It's a cool design overall, that wavy look. So this is called a sustainable seamless because it's 92% recycled materials. Right off the bat, I really like this seamless set. I can see why it's one of their best sellers. Again, nice and supportive of a legging. None of these are super low 
support where I'm feeling like a jiggle <laughs> going on here. This is something I could definitely see myself wearing to the gym. Nice tummy control, nice stretch, similar to the other pair you just saw. I feel like ever so slightly there might be a little more tightness right in the glute area. I definitely prefer the peach in this one because you have a seamed break going on right here. I think the band comes slightly low where I feel like mm, it pull you up a little bit. But overall, I think this is a really flattering set right on that peachy. Surprisingly squat proof for this light of a color. This is a sage green. To me, my eye in certain light sees a light gray. Then I see a little bit of green in certain lighting, but I love sage green, dude. I love it. Excellent length. Okay, Pursue. Out of everything I've tried from Pursue, and mind you, I pretty much tried everything, this set right here is runner up to the Pursue Times Hope collaboration. I do feel like this is neck and neck with it. So I would say if you're looking for a straightforward, low key, the print's not over the top, you just need a staple gym set to wear, this would be it. The comfort is there. I think if you're in between sizes though, for the leggings, I would size up only because if I were to size down any more than my true size, I do feel like right here, it'd just be a little too tight on my glutes. I can't have that. Around the meats of my legs, they feel pretty comfortable, not overly tight. This right here is where I'm feeling a little bit of the tightness when I squat. These sets are stretchy, but not crazy stretchy. Like this is as much as I'm able to stretch them out. So keep in mind, nice support, but also keep that in mind when choosing your size. Oh, hold on a second, I'm not done yet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Thank you, babe. Leggings are a bit tight. This is awesome. The tonal look here, even got the tonal logo, I'm for that. I love this like rib contour they got going on. You can even feel it. it's grippy. Not grippy, but it's textured. You can feel it raised a bit. So far on all three of the sets I've tried on, the leggings are so good at concealing cellulite. I have to admit that I got cellulite over here and on my ass. <laughs> and it does a really good job on smoothing it out. Even with as tight as this is, there's no dreaded CT. I feel like right around here is a little a little problematic for me. I feel like I have a little bit of a uni, but again, this is a little small for me. So I don't know if a size up would help this department right here, but I do notice that this raised rib contour going around here kind of shrinks my glutes ever so slightly. You see that? Mm. You gotta be careful with contours like this. It could just kind of sandwich your glutes in. I do think that the design from the front is stellar though. I think this light red with the deep burgundy, almost like black marl tones in it. I think this is such a cool looking set. This whole set again is in my true size small. The bra feels just fine. Like I wouldn't size up or down, but the legging size is just off in my opinion. I feel like compared to the other two sets were totally doable. This one just, I, I really struggle with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this again. Out of every single legging that I've tried from Pursue to date, it's the Pursue Times Hope Scope that wins the day for me. In terms of what I had in today's haul, however, that sustainable collection has my vote. That for me is number one. I know that the Impulse and the Adapt were both in the $50 range. The sustainable was like $63 if I remember correctly. I wouldn't say it's overpriced, but I wouldn't say that it's a steal either. It's right in the middle of the spectrum for me. The one thing I have to say about the brand as a whole is that I'm really excited to see them increase their sizing range. I would like to see some extra larges in there. We need a little bit better size inclusivity here. I hope you guys found this video super helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos just like this every single week. We got a lot, lot more fun brands coming your way that you do not wanna miss, I promise. If you have any other questions, comment down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in my next video.